Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, configure your Nextcloud server to be accessible from an external network. So the easiest way to do is, is using a uh, DDNS option. So today I'm going to show you how to do that using Dynamic DNS. First of all what you need to do is you need to choose a DDNS provider. In my case I'm going to select noip.com because it's mostly used in the world. Uh, so first of all what you need to do is uh, if you are selecting noip.com or whatever the DNS product you are going to select you need to sign up to their website in my case I am selecting noip so I am going to sign up to their uh, web interface so first of all you need to add an email address password from here also you can give the domain name and go or else you can just keep it you can select this uh, create my hostname later option and you can just keep it and uh, that's all uh, so it's a free option but the thing is if you select the free option you will need to update your domain name that you create every 30 days if not you can uh, purchase a $24 per year uh, basis contract and uh, you can get uh, additional 24 uh, domains as well as uh, the domain names that you create will not be uh, updated until one year is uh, gone so I have already created an account so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to log in onto my account. Okay, as you can see, after I log in onto the account, this will be my interface. So in this interface, uh, first of all, if you have created the domain name while you are creating the uh, sign up option, then you should see the domain name under dynamic DNS. So if you don't see it, that means you haven't created, then you need to select create hostname and give a domain name that you want but this will be a subdomain name so you you can create uh, select any extension free extension from here uh, or if you have purchased the $24 yearly basis uh, plan uh, you can select these options as well but in my case I have selected the free one so I'm going to select ddns.net and uh, my host uh, for that you can give any name that you want and that's all just press create host name after that is selected then the domain name will appear here so the most uh, required information for doing this step uh, the, the DDNS configuration for Nextcloud is first creating a, a domain name uh, from your DDNS provider and uh, remembering the usernames and password of the DDNS provider account so after doing after creating the account we are now what we will need to do is we will need to go on to uh, our routers interface so in my case this is my router IP address I'm going to log in onto my router using administrator okay I'm going to log in onto it now you will need to go to uh, network applications in your router it might uh, differ but you should be able to find the option called DDNS on your router so as my uh, one is a Huawei one I'm going to go to network, network applications and I'm going to go out to the DDNS configuration option okay after doing so what you need to do is you need to select new so you will get something like this for the domain name option you need to give the domain name that we just created from the no IP uh, web interface uh, for the provider you will need to select the no IP option uh, if you don't see the service provider no IP that means you are not able to use the service provider then you will need to select uh, something which is capable with your router if you can see no IP then no problem in there so at the domain name then these options you don't need to change you can leave it as it is for the username and password you will need to give the username and password of your uh, no IP.com or the service provider that you selected then I'm going to give them so as I have already created I'm not going to leave them I'm going to leave it as it is and click apply after the apply is done you should be able to see something like this and the run state should be up and uh, for the last update time uh, should be the current time that you have configured it. so if it is working then if all the things are showing perfectly then that means the DDNS uh, service were uh, connected and communicating perfectly okay if that is done then here also you should be able to see uh, update successful message so if that is done now what we need to do is we need to go to the forward rules or port forwarding or in some cases you will be able to see it as NAT uh, port forwarding or NAT forwarding 
so in my case if that option is under four tools i'm going to go to it and i'm going to go to port mapping configuration so here as you can see i have already uh, port forwarded it so it is not there so i'm going to port forward it again so to do that what i need to do is give a name so for this option i'm going to give it as a next cloud and for the internal host name host uh, i'm going to select my uh, ip address of the server which is uh, 192.168.1.50 and uh, for the port numbers i'm going to select for the protocol i'm going to select tcp slash utb because it doesn't matter what it is uh, in this case i'm going to select both because i'm not sure about it so for the internal and external port numbers i'm going to select uh, or give 444 the reason for that is my uh, next cloud service port number is uh, 444 by default it will be uh, required if it will be coming in under 443 but because the Android system already is using the 443 as the HTTPS port, I cannot use that one. So because of that, when I configure the next cloud server, I configured it as 444. So whatever the port that you have configured, you need to enter it under the port numbers. So afterwards, what you need to do it do is a click uh, click apply. So if it is done perfectly, then your port forwarding is working okay now what we need to do is we need to open our app data folder so our app data folder contains all the docker installation files so inside that we should be able to find the next cloud docker also so i'm going to open uh, my app data uh, or my network share path i'm going to go to my app data folder inside that you should be able to see next cloud or whatever the name that you have given for the docker file uh, open that one and go to uh, www sorry uh, go to yeah www and go to next cloud under that you should be able to see a folder called config inside that open the config.php file using uh, notepad so when you open the uh, config.php file as notepad you should be able to see your option called trusted domains so under trusted domains already your server IP address will be there. For this one, I'm going to add another one with uh, the domain name that I have just created. So same as the above one. So the domain name will be my one is techp.ddns.net and the port number so the port number of my uh, server is 444 because that is the one you have port folder and the server is currently using so again comma then that's all so after adding these informations press save and that's all so if it is working perfectly you should uh, be able to uh, type the domain name on the tab or the browsers uh, say the address bar and the port number and it should work sorry uh, we need to add uh, HTTPS onto the front as well so if it is working perfectly then you should get this message if it doesn't uh, so when you are typing the address uh, the domain name on the address bar first type HTTPS on the front colon forward slash and then the domain name and the port number if it doesn't work perfectly then that means the configuration that you did under the app data folder is not working then again go back to the folder and check for it the next cloud and config so this should be in this way or else it won't work so that's all so what should happen is uh, when now as you have configured this uh, using ddns you don't need to do anything additional so you can just log in onto uh, your account from any device with any internet connection and you should be able to upload files and uh, download files or do anything as you want so thank you guys for watching and i think this is helpful so if you get a bit confused in my configuration method just uh, put a comment and i will reply to it 
So thank you again and have a nice day.